Okay, my love, what are we doing today? How do you go about starting to envision your future? Ah, well, first you have to kind of understand yourself or begin to start understanding yourself, depending upon how far you think you are in this process. I mean, if if you are just now starting to realize that you know I need to make changes in my life, you first thing you have to do is try to start grasping with yourself because you're clearly not happy with some part of yourself. And so deciding what that is, is, you know, the first step, but you know, it speaks to you what you need to work on for yourself. It doesn't hide itself from you. You can ignore it, but it, it, it announces itself to you on a routine basis. You know, we all choose to ignore it. I think a lot of us, you know, Mr. Raise my hand over here first, the ignores, you know, I've had a hard struggle with that my entire life is you ignore these things that announce themselves to you that you need to fix about yourself. But that's where you start fixing the things about yourself that announce themselves to you. Stop lying to yourself. Now, you can't worry about being honest with the rest of the world until you're worried about being honest with yourself. And ultimately that's where all this stuff starts. Being honest with yourself about who you want to be, where you want to go, and who you are right now. You know, you, you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. And you don't know where you've been if you can't look at yourself honestly. You can't be honest with yourself, and if you can't be honest with yourself, Forget about being honest with other people. It doesn't matter. You don't have to tell anybody anybody else jack squat. Be honest with yourself. The rest of the world doesn't have to know about your your, your worst scars and, and your worst failures. And no, you don't have to tell anybody. But you do have to tell yourself. You do have to accept it. And then you do have to forgive it. Yeah, I didn't know. Most of the time, most of our failures can simply be passed off as I didn't know any better. I was ignorant. And that's okay. But if you want to see your future, you have to truly see where you are. And that's the very first step. And there's no other way about it. It's hard. And it's often ugly, something we don't want to look at, which is why we don't. But to genuinely love yourself, you have to learn to love all of yourself, including the parts you don't like. That is your daily dose of love.